Hey everybody, so today's quick tip is gonna be tapered wall pocketing. Uh, we're gonna do this with tooling. Let's go ahead and just take a quick section view of the part. If we look at it from the front view, you can see we have some draft on this wall. And what we wanna do is use a tapered cutter on our finish pass in order to put that taper on the wall. So let's go ahead and dive right in and take a look at how you can accomplish this with your Bobcat V31. So our first step is gonna be to just create a new file. So let me create a new file here. Uh, to begin with, I'm just gonna draw a very basic rectangle, a, a six by four uh, should be just fine, okay? And then we're gonna draw another rectangle in the center. This is gonna be a five by three and a half or three. Uh, we'll add a radius in the corner and then we'll choose OK. So those are the two sketches we're gonna use in today's example. Our next step is to create a new layer and make it active. We're gonna do an extrude for our outside shape. We're gonna just make this one inch deep. And then we're gonna do an extrude cut for our inside shape. Now, this step isn't really necessary. I'm just using it to create a 3D design. Uh, again, doing an extrude cut, if you leave the draft angle at zero, you'll have no taper. And then what you can do is you can add a draft angle, either positive or negative, in order to control what side the draft is created on. Uh, from here, we'll go ahead and choose OK and then Cancel. Now, at this point, we have our model created. Our next step is to set up our job and start programming it. So we're going to come into the cam tree, create a new job. Again, we'll run the stock wizard, uh, and then we'll set up our zero and choose OK. So we have a job set up. Now, initially what we're gonna do is use a pocket routine to rough out our shape. So we're gonna right click on our machine setup, come down to mill to axis, and choose select geometry. Now from here, we're gonna choose the bottom floor of our pocket. The reason being is that will give us our straight wall dimension for the pocket. If we selected this top outside shape, then we'd be cutting into the draft and we don't wanna do that. Uh, our next step once we've selected our geometry is to go ahead and pick our depth or enter it. We also may wanna set our profile lead in position and direction of cut for our finish pass. We're gonna go ahead and choose okay from here. Our next step is to look at our machining strategy. I'm gonna create a pocket routine with a profile finish. We'll choose next. For our pocketing tool, we're gonna to use a half inch cutter. In this example, we're gonna use a morph spiral routine. As far as our leads go, we're gonna to go to a ramp routine. We're gonna make the ramp distance a little bit greater and we'll set an approach angle of 45. Uh, as far as that goes, that's about it. Maybe we wanna take two steps to get down to the bottom and that will set up our pocketing routine. Now, as far as our finishing routine, right now you can see it's choosing just a straight uh, half inch end mill. We're gonna go into the tool crib. We'll go to the tapered category. This is where you can get into different categories for your cutters like lollipop, dove mill, T, V, end mill rough or end mill finish. In this example, we're gonna go to taper. We're gonna choose add from library and we're gonna just click add new tool. Now from here, you can type in all the tool information. This is gonna be a half inch diameter. Let's say that it's one inch of flute length. The taper angle is gonna be five degrees. Uh, number of flutes, maybe there's three on this one and that's about it. We'll go ahead and choose okay. And that's created our new tool. Uh, from here, I'm just gonna select this tool and choose okay. And you can see we have our tapered cutter here. Again, we'll choose OK to select the tool, and now we have the proper tool category loaded. Uh, other than coming in and adjusting the uh, lead in and lead out, we'll just hit compute, and really that's just about it. We'll come in and run the pocketing routine to remove the bulk of the material, and then once we're done, we'll come back with our finish pass here with a tapered cutter in order to put the draft on the wall. Uh, using tooling to put draft on the wall is a, a very easy way to accomplish a tapered wall pocket. 